welcome to Free Circle Fireside. I'm your host, Ed Waters, and I want to bring you insight that's right, truth with integrity, and the stories that matter the most to you. So, climb on in, buckle up, let's take a ride on the fireside. Let's chill and roll with it. Being a man. A lot of us don't really understand what being a man really means. It's not what society is telling you. A man does not waver. A man stands on firm ground. A man knows what he is telling you. If he doesn't, he lets you know. See, there's a lot of wishy-washy what people call men in this world now. Just because you make babies or you can beat somebody up doesn't make you a man. Being a man means being able to understand, forgive, take control of your situation. That doesn't mean brute force take control of your situation. That means putting down boundaries for you and your family and make sure those boundaries are adhered to. You know, there was an instance a while ago where a person asked me to come and help them with an issue that they were having. His wife was being, uh, let's, let's just say targeted by an individual and he didn't know how to handle it. A lot of men, anger is the way they go in that situation I can understand you don't do that but anyway this gentleman he wanted this individual to stop flirtatious remarks and whatnot to his wife And the individual was a friend of his, or a brother of a friend, so he did not quite know how to handle it. So I helped with the situation, and I thought we resolved the situation. Now this was years ago, and basically, the individual wasn't around that family for quite a while. However, recently, the individual that asked me to help with this certain problem has allowed this individual back into his life and allowing the same sort of thing to transpire. Now this is where I draw the line. You ask me to help and then because of your desires for what that individual may offer, you're going to allow him back into your life because of your own 
weakness. If you've got problems that allow you to let individuals into your household that are going to be an individual you can't trust around your household, why would you let him back in? That is just not good. That's not good for your wife, that's not good for your children, that's not good for you. Now, you stood up and you handled it, and then you backslid because of, I don't know, is it a drug issue? Would you let drugs separate you and your family? Allow somebody to come in and violate your family because of a drug? It's a question you should ask yourself. Now, I can't truly identify if this individual is on drugs, but it baffles me why somebody would allow that back into their life and subject their family to the possible harm it, it just it's something that I want to talk about this morning if you have individuals that you are allowing into your household that you can't trust well, maybe you shouldn't allow them in your house. Or, if you are allowing them back into your house, you had better look at yourself and see why you are allowing this. I don't know, it's something to think about. Are you being a man? Are you wavering on your decisions? Only you are in control of what you allow into your life. And if somebody was doing those things to my family, my wife, I would never allow them back into my home. That doesn't mean I'm going to hate the individual. That just means I'm not going to allow that temptation in my life. See, once we identify, we have to resolve. If we don't resolve, there's going to be problems. You already see there was a problem before, and now you're going to allow the possibility again. So, my point here today is men... You need to be able to control the atmosphere in your household. And if you've got individuals that are going to do harm to your household, why would you have that? That's not good family building skills. If you've got a drug addiction, a drinking problem, or whatever other problem there is that is allowing you to have possible harm around your household, you need to do a self-analysis. See what you treasure the most. It doesn't mean you have to be a yehoot and you just have to say, look, you have violated my family before and I have trust issues with you. I cannot allow you into my home until possibly you can show me that I can trust you that's going to be hard to do with the actions that you have done but for you to allow somebody into your home that has done those things and act like nothing has happened what is wrong with you 
it's time to do a self check what is allowing you to have this happen something's going on men you need to take control of your household you need to stand firm on your decisions do not backslide on them because of a need or a want find another way there's always another way pack up and move to a different area where you can provide there's something going on in the world are you involved I don't know men it's time to look at your household get it in order and make sure you be that man figure that father figure the head of the household because you are accountable for your household not your wife not your kids not your neighbors you and when you do meet a maker he will identify that you were in control of your household are you a man or are you a boy You don't have to punch people out. You need to be sober minded. Stand firm. Take control of your anger. And make sure you are firm in your every action, every word, and every move that you make. Well, that's it for another Free Circle Fireside. Thank you for joining us. You can find us on the web at freecircle.website. You can join in on the live shows or leave a message and we'll get your voice out over the message. The call in line is 971-533-7805. Join Free Circle, get your voice out, And thank you for joining the fireside. Ed, Free Circle, out.